All right, guys. Now, what are we going to learn? See, here is the stuff. There are people who are actually comfortable working in Windows, right? This Windows operating system. Whereas there are other few human beings who are comfortable working in Linux. And once upon a time, even my favorite was Fedora. I used to work on this, and then eventually I kind of transis did a transition from Fedora to Ubuntu. But as soon as I started to like the features of Windows, I started to hate Linux. Okay, but there are very less human beings who generally hate Linux. But somehow I started to not hate, get comfortable with Windows. Now, if someone says that, hey, you know what? You can also use Linux within Windows. If someone tells me like this, right? That would be like a cakewalk. It's like too awesome, dude. I wanted something like this. Can I? Can I work or execute the Linux command, Unix commands in Windows with the help of a Linux operating system? Well, you can do that. That's where the Windows guys have come up with a new concept. Not new; it's a very old concept, though, which we called as WSL, Windows Subsystem for Linux. WSL stands for Windows Subsystem for Linux. So as the name itself says that W stands for Windows, S stands for subsystem and Linux. It's not a container. It's not kind of a virtualization. It's uh, you can call it more of like a provisioning, giving a giving an option for you to work or execute Linux based operating system in the Windows machine, something like that. Okay, that's that's the um, that's what we call as WSL. Now to do that, first of all, you need to install WSL. And to install WSL, obviously within Windows, you need to use just like a command prompt. You have PowerShell, and you are going to use this PowerShell to install WSL, and then install a Linux operating system. Okay, that's what what that is what we are going to do. And so first thing is that let me open PowerShell in administrator as administrator okay and then i'm going to say wsl minus minus install minus d ubun ubuntu i guess the ubuntu i think this is the right spelling okay let us see uh okay ubuntu okay cool so as you can see it is starting to install the um Ubuntu operating system in the Windows machine. That's what is, that is what is going to happen. Now, once it's done, obviously you need to restart your Windows machine. Make sure that once the installation is completed, you have to restart the machine. Okay. So I think if I click on the Start menu, you can already see that the Windows subsystem for Linux has started, which is also called as WSL, Windows subsystem for Linux, Windows subsystem for Linux. And if I also click on start, now you can see you have Ubuntu. Now to do that, to also verify more, you can say, you can type add or remove programs in the, in the start menu, click on this. And then here you can, yeah, there you go. See, two new things have been added. As you can see, it's on today's date. And this is where you can even uninstall it as well. See, right click uninstall, see uninstall you can uninstall if you want okay that's something point to be noted how to uninstall it as well and uh, yeah with that being said now let me restart and once that's done we'll resume back until then stay tuned and i hope even you will restart it thank you all right guys so as you can see the system got restarted and as soon as the system got restarted right uh, a command prompt gets automatically picked up and uh, and here the first thing is that a command prompt will automatically get picked up as I said before and you'll get this Ubuntu is already see Ubuntu is already installed because I have all okay and then it's saying launching Ubuntu and then installing it might take few minutes okay once that's completed it will definitely ask you to create a new username and password. And I'm going to create a new name called as integration 
anarchy that's my youtube channel and then the password is come on the password is admin123 and i'm going to admin123 that's it so as you can see it has been installed successfully right and if i click on this uh, ls minus lrt and right now i'm in the home path okay that's where the uh, what do you call that that's where the everything gets started up okay and uh, let me open the PowerShell. PowerShell. And here, if I click on, okay, I think I can't do this. If I click on WSL, um, WSL minus minus status, as you can see, the Ubuntu version has been installed, which is awesome. And that's all I wanted, which is good. Um, as you can see, uh, it gives you the status of the WSL machine. Yeah. And uh, there you have. Yeah, there you have it. Now, once that's done, let me also execute another command called as minus minus update. Then it will check for whether are there any up updates for the existing software that you have installed. As you can see, it says that the most recent version of the Windows system has already been installed for you. And that's pretty cool. Okay, that, that's pretty cool. Now, how do you uh, uninstall it? Okay, this is this is the installation part, guys. This is just the installation part, right? Now, how do you uninstall it? The uninstallation is quite simple. You have to be in the PowerShell, obviously. The first thing is that I'm not going to execute it, but I'm going to tell you. The first thing is that obviously you have to execute a command called WSL minus minus shutdown. First, you're going to shut down. And then WSL, the next command is WSL uh, I believe it's a slash or um, yeah, I think it would be slash unregister unregister Ubuntu U B U U B U N T U. Okay, or it might be double slash one of them. I think it, either it's slash or double slash one of the syntax. I think I've forgotten it, but one of the syntax it it will unregister the Ubuntu. And by that, you can you can restart the server. Okay, there are many times where, not many times, there are times that when you have installed it, right, in this Windows Explorer, in this Windows Explorer, you will get a small Linux, Linux uh, uh, called as uh, Linux icon here, with that penguin Linux icon here, which, which is currently not visible here. Only reason is because I have delete, deleted using registry. Um, that is something I'm going to follow up in the next video, but don't get panicked in case if you see a Linux icon here in the Windows Explorer. Okay. I'm currently running on Windows 11 and I hope that's the same behavior even in Windows 10 as well. Okay. And what else do we have? If I click on WSL, see, um, not here. Okay. I'm sorry. WSL minus uh, options i think it was minus options i believe uh, just let me exit this okay wsl minus minus options let me see what all options i have okay minus minus help let me clear it first of all let me clear it wsl minus minus help okay cool so it gives a set of commands for you guys for all of us not you for all of us and as you can see, we can, we can go through it here. You have a command to see, this is what we have done. Minus D. Remember we, in the initially we use minus D and distro, destroy nothing but nothing but the distribution. And we are given Ubuntu. If you want, you can even give many other, uh, uh, Fedora commands as well. Let me see, uh, Fed, uh, well, many other, not Fedora, many other operating systems, WSL, uh, I think minus list uh minus online let me see see here you here you have kali debian and oracle ubuntu we have, i think we installed this guy okay and then su say so you have many one of them okay you can use any one of your choice okay that's uh yeah that's about it 
So then let's scroll a little bit and see what else we have in this particular arguments. We noticed this guy. Okay. And then the important one install, we just installed it. Obviously mount, mount is nothing but say for example, you need to navigate to C drive. Okay. Through your Linux operating system. And if you want to navigate through the C drive to your, uh, to your Linux operating system, then obviously you need to mount that particular drive and uh, navigate within it. And that is something you can do it actually. You can just say something like CD slash M, I think MNT C, I believe. This is C. Uh, yeah, see here. If I say list uh, ls minus lrt, uh, let me open it. C drive. And as you can see, here you have action directory, here you have action directory, and here you have a soft studio, and here you have a soft studio. So, like that, you have navigated within it. Okay. So, you have kind of mounted it, which is good. So, that's that's another feature. Let me exit, exit out of it. Uh, and let me try to open Ubuntu again. Yeah. So then that's the mount and obviously shut down as I just execute shown this shut down and obviously unmount. You can also do that very well. Uh, that's just the opposite of it. Uh, update. We have seen that minus V it's quite uh, just to check the version. Mm, what else do we have? I think that's it. Um, but yeah, this is an important point. The unregister. See, I initially thought it was like this but uh, it came to know that it's double dot not double dot it's dash dash so that's for unregister see here you have the unregister here see unregister you can terminate and many more of that so these commands will help you to understand more and navigate within it and you know what we are going to look at uh, look, look at each one of them eventually during our uh, course uh, work uh, course period yeah whichever course we are going to look at it so with that being said uh, we are done with the installation of WSL and let's see what else we can learn in the upcoming tutorials until then take care and have a great learning see ya